<laughs> What's up? Today we're talking about 8675309. Jenny. Something like this. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, talk about the chords and uh, then a little bit how to strum them. Hey, look. Okay, so first we're going to have an F sharp uh, power chord here at the second fret. I'm just going to use my first finger, third finger, and fourth finger for all of these guys. Um, you might choose to bar them, and that would be okay too. Or you could choose to just play two strings, but the important part is to use the underside of the index finger here to mute the strings that you are not playing. You're not going to press down there like a full bar, but um, you're not going to press down like a full bar, but you'll be just slightly muted. Okay, so F sharp. string towards the ceiling, my A power chord, and then two frets up the neck for my B power chord, so sharp, D, A, B. And the strumming pattern is going to go something like this. Two cameras going, oh yeah, we'll check it out. It's one, two, three, four. the beat up off the beat one two three four <laughs> now the key the secret sauce so that you can get this sounding kind of tight just like you hear on the record is to mute in between these power chords it helps silence some of the those extra cool slash annoying sounds of sliding up and down the strings because then you can completely lift your fingers off the strings as you move ah. and to do that i'm just placing the palm of my hand on the strings to silence them all. It's nice to do it close to the bridge, but it's not totally necessary. You can do it farther up the neck if you like. And you just make it part of the strumming pattern. Can't say those mute fast mutes fast enough there. And so forth and so on. Hopefully that will be helpful for you in uh, figuring out how to play this main riff to Jenny, eight six seven five three oh nine. Please enjoy.